Sure. Um, it's been a crazy ride. You know, it, it began at Madison Square Garden with George's stunning win over Teofimo Lopez, who was perceived by many as the best fighter in the world um, at that moment in time. And uh, George took care of business, became the undisputed champion. Um, there is only one belt out there that he doesn't have, and Devin Haney has it. We, uh, we negotiated to make the biggest event possible for the people of Australia. George was insistent on defending his belts at home. And he really wanted to defend them in Melbourne. Um, and it's one of the reasons I'm so grateful to the, uh, the Victorian government and to the people of Melbourne and to the Melbourne uh, 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 government for bringing this huge event to Marvel Stadium. And Marvel Stadium's a marvel, one of the great stadiums in the world. Um, we spent a lot of time trying to create the biggest event we could. And actually, we had a deal to fight Vasil Lomachenko, a man who's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, who's a great, great fighter. Um, and right after we closed the deal, the Ukraine got invaded. Lomachenko is now fighting a bigger fight with his people. He's back in the Ukraine um, battling for freedom. And we had to then change course. And the biggest possible fight was this young, great fighter, this young kid with a lot of talent, um, Devin Haney, who had that one other belt. This is the final undisputed championship. This is the final unification at lightweight. And the winner of this fight will be the king of the lightweights. And um, while Devin Haney had, had fight a bunch of fights of his were on another network, the zone, I was able to uh, speak to the guy over here, who we go way back uh, since my first days in boxing, the legend um, Bob Arum. And they were interested in purchasing this fight for ESPN in the United States and Canada. And uh, we were able to put together a deal with the help of our, our partners, um, TEG and Duco. Thank you for your help. We never would have gotten to this, uh, this place without you. Um, Foxtel main event. Um, really, really wanted this event on pay-per-view in Australia. Great partnership with them. Um, I, I'm thrilled to be working with everyone we're working with. George Cambosis wanted to fight the biggest fight possible and bring it to Marvel Stadium in Melbourne. That's what we're doing, and we're fighting Devin Haney, and it's going to be a sensation, sensational spectacle, one of the biggest fights in years. It is good to be back home. Five years I've been on the road. Five years. I've been doing it tough, doubted by many, but I stayed focused. I kept that tunnel vision, and I knew one day I'd collect all of this, and I knew one day I'd step into this stadium and collect another belt. It's great to be back home, great to be here at Marvel Stadium. I have to thank the Melbourne government, the minister, my promoter, the Bell Entertainment, TEG, and the people of Australia, not only Melbourne, but the people of Australia, because like I've said many times, these belts are not only mine, they're ours as a country. Greece as well, my heritage, they're ours. And when I step on this beautiful stadium, June 5th, these belts ain't going nowhere, they're staying here. Great win, against all odds, 13 to one underdog. But I knew what I was gonna do that night. I never changed. I said it all along, from day dot, I will be world champion, especially on that night. But that's the thing of the past now. I'm never content. I'm always striving for more and more. That's why I chased the biggest names. There was only two names I ever asked for, for this stadium fight, return fight. I could have fought anybody, any person I could have picked. But what for? One of the best names, Lomachenko, Devin Haney. Unfortunately, Lomachenko is not available. Beautiful. Devin Haney, step up. Now we'll take your belt. I want the best fights. I want the best warriors to keep showing the world who I am, what I'm about. Correct, I could have fought anybody, but could I do that on my homecoming fight, my return fight, this beautiful stadium, give you guys an easy fight, and you just leave home with a sour taste in your mouth? Never, I can't look at myself in the mirror. I said I'll fight the best guys, I bring this fight back to Australia, and that I did. I've been putting the work. People ask me, when does Cam start? Cam started as soon as I bet TFM Lopez. As soon as I batted him and took all his belts, camp started the next day. I was on the phone to Lou DeBella and to my management and to my team. Who's next? Can we get these guys? Are they going to step up to the table after that performance I just showed the world? 
So I'm in great condition, ready to fight. I fight today if we have to. I take it old school. Let's do 15 rounds in this beautiful stadium. I can't wait for June 5th. Look, I've been a contender on the rise for a long time before I won these titles. So I've been looking at all these guys. I've got notes on all these guys. I know how to beat all these guys, and I will continue to beat all of them one by one, round by round, one by one. So, look, I'm not going to disrespect Evan Haney. He's a good boxer, but he ain't elite, and he will find that out the hard way. They call him the dream, but now that it's signed, reality is going to kick in. And day by day, that reality, reality is going to set in stone. And you're going to see it. This stadium, this fighter you got in front of you, this ain't no game. Uh, this is a dream come true. Uh, I thank God for it every day. I prayed for this uh, time to come, and uh, now uh, the, the fight is uh, official now, and I can't wait. Thank you, God. Alhamdulillah. I'm so uh, gracious, and uh, I can't wait. Bill, alongside you, your father and trainer. Bill, you saw the fight uh, where George became the champion of the world in Madison Square Garden, uh, the home of boxing, if you like. Uh, what did you see in the opponent that your son needs to beat to achieve his lifelong dream? Well, shout out to George, George Cambosos and the wonderful job he did with uh, Teofimo Lopez. It's a true Cinderella story, no different than, than, than our story as well. This is, this is the, uh, the Super Bowl of the lightweight division, and we're happy to be a part of it. We're happy to have the dance partner and uh, George Cambosos, a heck of a team, and uh, Peter Kahn, you know, Lou DiBella. You know, everyone has done an excellent job at uh, making this thing happen. So we're, we're, we're uh, very much looking forward to it. Oh, I mean, he's, he's amazing. He's both, uh, uh, both a great, great person outside the ring as well as being a great fighter inside the ring. And come June 5th, uh, the world is going to get a chance to see. Um, it's a lot of di different dimensions to his game. He has an arsenal uh, uh, full of uh, different, different things, a toolbox full of, uh, full of different things. And come June 5th, the world will get a chance to see how much uh, he'll put on display. I think George is a, a great fighter, and I've been asking for the top fighters for uh, a while now, and I finally have, you know, gotten one of them that, that's in their prime, that's coming off the biggest win of their career. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. Um, but I, what I will do is go in there and handicap uh, George of his the, the things that he does best. I will take away from him and uh, make it an easy night. Thank you to all the fans that's tuned in, uh, all the fans in Australia, all the fans in the U.S., all the Georgia's fans, all of my fans. You know, without you guys, this fight wouldn't have uh, been able to get made. So uh, I want to say thank you guys for that. And uh, tune in uh, June 5th. It's going to be a, a hell of a fight, the, the biggest fight uh, of the year by far, and it's for all the marbles. So, uh, you know, it, it will be final. It will, be, it will finally be a king of the lightweight division, and uh, it will be me. Yeah, I respect that. But he says... He will finish his fight as a king. What's a king to an emperor? I am the emperor. I've gone and done that, and now I will conquer even more. So, I respect it. He's a good kid. But just know that we chose you. We looked for the biggest fights. Could afford anybody. There's a reason why. So, June 5th. Looking forward to it. I'm not a kid, so he can stop calling me a kid. I'm a man, and I will show him that in the ring. Respect me as a man, and. Uh, uh, it, if he doesn't Show want to me. respect me as a man, me. I'll gain the respect in the ring. And, and second of all, um, he, he, he could say that he chose me, but that's not the truth. He was forced into this fight. He did not, he, he did not want to fight me. And up until, the, up until today, he did not want to sign a contract in, up until today. So he could say what he wanted to say. He did not choose me. He was forced into it. You were chosen, boy. And, uh, you were can, chosen. Can you repeat the question uh, for me again? Sorry, no, I wasn't, I, I wasn't chosen. You were chosen. Now, it was forced. You, you got forced. forced. You didn't want this fight. You, you didn't want this fight. Position. I'll take the same deal as Loma does. What? I'll take the same deal as Loma. Yeah, you're on a different and what broadcast. I do? And what did I do? You're on a different and what did broadcast. I do? You're on a different broadcast. And what did broadcast. I do? That's right. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Because I knew. Because I knew I could beat you. Show me June 5th. I trusted my skills Show so much that 5th. I knew. No matter what, we, we, I, I, I'd fight you anywhere. Where, wherever. I'd fight you in your backyard if I had to, because I know that I'm going to beat you. And you'll see June 5th. I'll be waiting. I'm about to become undisputed. This is a dream come true for me. What am I going to be up upset about? You sound very angry. You sound very upset. I want to see that energy when you step in here on June 5th with me. <laughs> Just answer the question. You got it, bro.
<laughs> Come on, Bill. Answer for him. <laughs> yeah, Bill. I just want to know about your camera. Hey, you don't. You don't tell me. You don't tell me. You don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. I answer the question when I want to answer the question. If you tell me to answer the question, I'm not answering it. Bill looks like a world champion. Look how he's dressed. He's dressed like me. Sharp in the suit. Devin forgot the suit. I don't know if he's, he owns one, but uh, <laughs> this is I don't fine. Need to, this I, is I, I don't fine. need to wear that. I want to wear these belts on June 5th. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to wear the belts on June 5th. Reality's kicking in. You ain't going to go near them. This is just a dream for you. Just enjoy it. <laughs> you know, shout out to the, uh, to the Victorian government and uh, both, I, I have to say again, uh, Peter Kahn, uh, who's, who's also, you know, offered us uh, first class treatment to come over and train and get ready to uh, give the people the fight that, that they're clamoring for, to make sure that these two gentlemen are, are well taken care of and, uh, and, it's, and it's a fight that's going to be settled in the ring. Uh, I know that it's something that uh, Cambos Cambosos uh, made as the last option. I have a lot of respect for him and uh, Jim, but Devin was the last option. Um, and you know, alhamdulillah, God doesn't make any mistakes. Uh, now it's set forth to June 5th. Everything will be finalized and settled. You know, shout out to Bob Arum and Top Rank for uh, providing this platform. And ESPN, it's going to be a heck of a fight. Uh, we plan to come out uh, a month in advance um, to, to uh, Australia. Hopefully we can uh, get a chance to do some media and also put in the work that we want to need and get adjusted to the climate. No, no, uh, I think that, that that's just something that uh, that's George's personality. Um, but when the two men meet in the ring, uh, it's going to be it's going to be settled. Uh, it's all about skills. Skills will pay the bills. Uh, nothing that George can do or say can uh, get Dev out of his character. Dev is ready for this fight. Um, uh, George just spoke about the, the many miles, the 8000 miles or the journey uh, to come over. Uh, this has been a 15-year journey for Devin. So the amount of time that it's going to take to come over, anything that George is going to say, anything that any fans or anything that's going to do, it won't be anything that's going to be uh, that's going to disrupt him. We 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 graduated. We made our bones in Mexico, in, in small bars, um, onto the to this big stage. So nothing that is going to uh, surprise us. Devin is going to be ready for everything. Um, Styles make fights at the end of the day. Um, he, he had a great night on that night, and uh, he beat Tia Fimo, but I'm a different fighter than Tia Fimo, and uh, I will show. Um, what I, like I said, the be things that he does best, I will take away from him. Look, I'm very excited, and I've worked extremely hard. I've gone back and forth from the U.S., all over the world I've been, to get to this. Now, these guys sit there and complain. They're making millions of dollars and they complain about a, a trip all the way to down under. I've done that trip for free, lost money with my family and my kids in the cattle class with screaming babies to, to achieve this. So they're worried about uh, a trip down under, so I'm very excited. I've achieved this, but again, I never oh. get content. I never get oh, content. We, we. I'm striving for more and more. And these guys are just another, another person in front of me. I will take them out, and I will move on to who's next. Thank you, everybody. And Bill and Devin, can I say thank you so much for being part we of this. We signed up. We, hey, we signed up for it twice. Hey, we, want, we wanted it so bad, and we want to look for we, We're looking forward to, we're looking forward to, the, to performing in front of the Australian uh, people and the Greeks and uh, on all your fans, not once, but twice. So it ain't like that we did not look, look forward to this. We signed up for it not once, but twice. And I don't know too many teams that would have signed up for it. That's how much we're looking to come down under, my brother. You had no choice.